Big sinkhole, big problems from deadly gas to fear of fire. We wanted to know what's happened since this hole nearly swallowed a metro bus in Clifton. And perhaps the biggest question tonight is also the biggest concern, the biggest unknown at that. We sent Chopper 9 over the sinkhole today to show you the repairs as you can only see them from the air. Nine on your side's Tony Maronis joins us live. And Tony, it seems like these crews face danger every day they're on the job. Yeah, it is a pretty, pretty crazy job they have. They just finished up here recently here on Shield Street. But when I was here earlier, I asked them, Let, let's go ahead and put our camera down there. And they said no, because it could set off a spark. This is your first close-up look at the sinkhole construction. But for safety, it has to be from above ground. Sewers carry a lot of gases in them, potentially. So when we go in, in these sort of excavations, we always try and make sure that the equipment is safe for the workers that go in there. So anything that could cause a spark, even if the atmosphere seems fine, we really don't want to take any extra chances on that. Those chances could be deadly, from workers being overcome and poisoned to igniting a fire. They work 35 feet down in a tight area. That takes a lot of time. They use a small backhoe to loosen the dirt. Then the raw sewage mixed with it is dumped and hauled off. Once they get beyond about 20 feet deep, extra precautions need to be taken. From shoring up the walls with steel bolted together to using gas meters to monitor the air, the men have to come out often to make room for a crane. And Mike Pettinger's 20 years of experience. He's not seen a hole like this. We've seen a lot of big ones. I mean, this is certainly the, the biggest immediate sunken area or cave in that I've seen, and you know, and catastrophic. That's from the environment, services, and now crew safety. It's sewage mixed in there, and they're down in this, mucking it out by hand. And not many people want to do that work. You know, back out here live, neighbors have been inconvenienced, but the zoo has opened up one of its drives so residents can get out to the street because it's blocking it. Now, I talked to the foreman here today. He said, how long is this going to take and when's it going to be done? He didn't give me a date. Instead, he said, when it's done. Reporting live, Tony Moronis, 9 on your side. Pretty direct.